Hi, Earth Signs. Welcome to Self Discovery Support. This reading taps into experiences and issues you may be having in love and life, and what steps can be taken to create change for better. This reading is created for the elements, so Earth being Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and I'm going to pull an animal card at the beginning to kind of tap into what's happening for you now. And also, the theme of this reading has to do with the High Priestess, which is a card which talks about in using your intuition and a spiritual kind of path, spiritual message, messaging and messages, and just kind of under knowing like internal wisdom and knowing so i um yeah that's the theme i'm gonna use this to help guide us in the message for you all right so let's get into pulling your animal card Alright, Earth Signs. So this card says, The bee and pomegranate calls us to create with purpose. Bees are known for their hard work and industriousness. And the phrase, busy as a bee, derives from Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, written in the 14th century. Pomegranates are tough-skinned and difficult to open, but once their exterior is pierced, Hundreds of seeds burst forth, signifying the fertility and abundance. You are at your most productive now. Take care to ensure your labor fulfills you. Now, it's not surprising that an earth sign element reading would have gotten this, this energy because that is what you are known for as earth signs is your connectedness to work the material producing you know this type of energy so right now could be a particularly fertile time for you you could be working on projects and the pomegranate that appears in the card is the particular sign of the high priestess so that to me signifies that the the producing that you're doing is tied into a kind of inner knowing a kind of inner wisdom it's an intuitive push to create something. So let's see what is happening now. And then we'll look at change for better. I'm going to shuffle this again. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, and Justice. Alright, so this is also quite a clear reading. It's like a path forward. Um, this is, I think right now, you're interested in what's going to make you happy. What's going to fulfill you in life. For some of you, it could be thinking about um, connecting to people. To building your emotional bonds so strengthening the relationships that actually give you what you need and make you happy and because I do feel like there's a sense that things have not been so balanced for you in the past and you know that and it's like you're planning to do things in your life that bring justice and also for some of you with work as well because of that productivity energy it's like 
doing work that's more fulfilling so that could be the spiritual call the spiritual piece in this is with the six of swords Ooh, there's a deeper message here okay the, the six of swords and the lovers all right i don't know if i gave you the caution that some of these images have nudity in it and if you are not 18 plus to click off but that was it all right anyway so six of swords here i feel like you you know that there's a path that is I think it's right in front of you. Some of you already started on this. It's taking you to a higher place. It's taking you to almost like um to use a more new age term is like ascension. It's going beyond where you have kind of existed before. Um so for some of you it's travel. For some of you it's actual travel. But I find like if you find yourself traveling, it could be that you're coming into connection with a, a major connection in your life in other words the things that you're doing the work that you're putting in and the kind of intention that you're setting is moving you into a place where you can feel like happier about things but it's not just yes for you is good but it's not just about that there's a higher purpose to things i think that for some of you if you're moving locations if you're moving house if you're at a place where you're shifting jobs it's gonna put you on a path where you're actually gonna meet someone i think that is a part of your bigger life story and um i'll leave it there knight of cups it does it's like reconfirming that this is a kind of spiritual expression of what I feel is maybe like romantic love, but also this has to do with you getting on this path yourself. Uh, we have Gemini and Libra and Pisces as well and Aries. No. I want to see what is the change for better that we can make. And it's not just about changes for better. This is a kind of advice section. Okay, we've got the Hierophant. We've got the Fool and the Page of Wands. So yeah, I think there's confirmation here. Take that leap when it comes. Some new opportunity is going to come up for you or you may be choosing that path. It's like take that leap because this new, it's like this new thing is going to release you and free you. It's going to bring about a kind of happiness that maybe for some of you hasn't existed for a while. I even see like in a home space that maybe you're coming from a place where there's been a lot of tension and turmoil in the home space. That is going to help. Um, the Hierophant comes here to me as confirmation of like this is guidance. This is a spiritual call. Ooh, I'm just seeing something. It just came to me. It's a spiritual path these cards are if they're not saying anything it's like this is your spiritual calling your spiritual path okay so for some of you this work that you're like thinking of doing is actually something you felt called to do um some of you might be doing like non-profit work um community-based work the b is like healing work yeah Okay, that just came to me. And I do think that that is maybe for a portion of you. Um, let me see if if there is like a love slant to this. Because the four of wands does talk about um, happiness. Can talk about marriage for some people. And we do have two people here. Um, enjoying themselves after like connecting through a more... It celebrates our intimate time. All right, 
So I pulled a message card for you. And the the reason that I put it back and shuffled again was it's the same card that Leo got, um, Leo Aries and Sagittarius got the fire signs, which was neglect. So you could be having something to do with a fire sign. Page of Wands is here. So that could confirm that Sagittarius, this is, um, no, this is fire signs in general. But this one says mistakes. I wish I could write my wrongs. So the thing that you're moving on to is feeling like maybe knowing that you can't necessarily write your wrongs. It's time to disconnect. Detachment here. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. This could be how you're feeling. This could be how you're feeling about the situation. And maybe for you, righting your wrongs is, I think it's more about like bringing justice to the situation, is about moving ahead, giving yourself justice in this. So if you related to this or signs, please do let me know in the comments like comment and subscribe and i'd love to have you here on another reading take care